This is a really good friend of mine, Ken. Uh, I was hoping that he could camp out on the couch until Sunday. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We usually don't smoke in the house. Oh, OK, fair enough. He's got a weird vibe. Maybe he likes you. No, it's not that. It look good on you. We've taken an instant disliking to him based on nothing. Ken, just get out of my way. Am I that disgusting? No, 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 you're not disgusting. Stab you. That guy Ken, he hurt Holly, me. Holly, you've called Jake. Leave a message. Can you come pick me up, please? Hey, man. What's going on? Not much. Oh, I'm starving. What did you eat tonight? Nothing. Oh, I'll get it. Hey, Jake. Good day. Still around? Uh, I don't know. I just got over. Good day. How you going? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to head off, mate. Yes. What? Now? What's wrong with her? Yeah, okay, I'm getting yes. lift up north. Yes, I can. Oh. We're not going anywhere, mate. Piss off, mate! Hey, 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 what's going on here? Kelly's in the hospital. He attacked her. What did you do to her, mate? Nothing! What did you do? Nothing! What did you do? What did you fucking do? I'm going to the hospital. Call the police. You attacked Kelly? What does that mean, Ken? Why would you do that? I didn't do anything! What are you? Some sort of fucking lunatic! Sometimes it's as if evil forces itself into your home, and sometimes you invite it in. And what it's after is what it doesn't have. Innocence. I stared at Kelly, at her face. I knew I hadn't caused those injuries, but at the same time, I knew I had. Come outside. Ken's gone. What? He took off. I couldn't catch him. I wish I'd beaten the shit out of him. I rang the police and they want to come in and interview Cal tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, I 
wrote the name of the guy down and it's Constable Leeds. He said we should ring him tomorrow if, you know, if Kel's okay to do. But are they out looking for Ken now? I think so. I told them everything that happened. sort of obsession. Well, is she all right? No. No, she's in the hospital. Where's Ken? He took off. Shit. Mm -hmm. So he just punched her out of the blue? I don't think so. I don't know. Well, did he do anything else to her? I don't know. Well, he didn't sexually assault her or anything, did he? I don't know, Gap. So where is she? In hospital. I told George what happened. What I knew of it anyway. The simple truth was, I had invited a lunatic into the house and he'd hurt someone I loved. She kept saying she didn't like him. I feel... I feel sick. Is that photo of your name on the fridge? Hey, maybe you should keep it. The police might need a photo of him. Where's that from? Gabriel. Would you like to have a bath with your new bath salts? No. Have a sleep. Hey, Fergie, how are you feeling? That machine's not working. It's not getting any better. We just have to give it a bit more time. Oh, hey. hey? Listen, Fergie, it will make you better, okay? It will. You just have to give it a bit more time. How are you feeling? Not too good. Do you need me to get anything? No. Did the doctor say anything about your face? Mainly bruising. The doctor said it'll get better in its own time. What about the guy? They haven't found him. I bought you a new pair of groovy pajamas. Mm.
put the bath on and put some bath salts in there. You can have a lovely bath and get changed into your new PJs. Miranda knew what she had to do. She had to wipe Ken's presence from Kelly's room to help wipe Ken's memory from Kelly's mind. It's different. I changed the sheets. <laughs> Thank you. Let me read your palm. I've always loved your hands. I see good things. Really good things. Like what? You're going to be happy and healthy. You're going to have a brilliant career. A wonderful partner. And lots of kids. Not too many. No. Nah. Just enough. Yeah, for the front door. Deadlock, please. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll be here. Oh, okay. Um, just want to eat something. I, I actually made you some lasagna. I'll get, yeah, I'll get it. No, thanks. I'll get it. It's not your fault, you know. I shouldn't have been here alone with him. Oh, Cal. Oh, it is my fault. Okay? I just saw Kelly. How is she? He hit her really hard. Poor girl. Mm. She's very shaky. I'll look in on her after you've gone. That'd be good. Thank you. I got you some things for America. Oh, thanks. That's great. Can we please make sure we speak every week? OK. Want to go for a walk? Maybe we should get an HIV test. That's got some implications. What? We don't sleep with other people. I wasn't going to go that far. <laughs> oh, um, OK. I mean, I'm not having sex with anyone else. Well, I'm not either, but if I want to, I suppose I will. OK. We could have unprotected sex with each other, but if we want to be with someone else, then we use a condom. Well, I think there should be more to it than that. Like what? Well, if you're going to be with other people, I don't think you should spend the night with them. I wouldn't do that anyway. It's only once. I would not be cool with you having an ongoing relationship with someone. Fair enough. It's not that I'm going to do it. It's just that it's unrealistic to think that we're only ever going to fuck each other. And if we talk about it now, we won't have to break up over it. How are you? I can't 
remember my password. Did you write it down anywhere? I can't remember it. I want to check my emails and I can't remember my password. Why don't you use my account to access the server? I don't know how to do that. I'll help. Jake. It was terrible. Well, don't think about it. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Shh. I didn't realise you'd known Fergus for so long. Oh, yeah. It must have been two years ago when I was doing my country team. It was real Aussie rules territory out there. And I was into soccer, so I ended up just kicking the ball around by myself. Oh, you had no friends. No, just kicked it all the way to work and all the way home again. And then one day, this kid comes up to me and says... I'll play with you. Do you know how to play soccer, mate? No, I know how to play football. Oh, well, it's kind of the same. Just don't use your hands. So you have to kick it? Yeah, that's right. That's easy. OK. Oh, oh. You want to work tomorrow? Sure am. See ya. See ya. The next morning, there was Fergus waiting for me. G'day. Where's your ball? And that's how we became friends. We started hassling everyone to play soccer. And he succeeded. He even got a team going, which is pretty good going for out there. Mm. <laughs> it's hard to believe he was once a little boy who could run around and have fun. Yeah, I'm glad I have that memory. Now, I'm trying to work out your plan. Where's my knight? Don't know. Maybe it rode off. <laughs> Are you cheating already? No, honestly, it just took off. <laughs> I can't believe you're cheating this early in our relationship. You know what we were talking about at dinner? It's not like a... I want to fuck the next guy that comes along. Well, that's a relief. I think I'm scared. Scared of what? I've never really had a long-term relationship. Neither have I. And what about Miranda? Well, yeah, of course. Did you love her? Yeah, I did. I don't think I've ever been in love with anyone before. Hey, take your hands off my queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> OK. on that machine and his heart stopped working. Did he rest? Yeah, he's going for a scan now. They think he might have had a bleed. Bleed? What? Uh, the doctors think that he might have some bleeding inside his head that we can't see. Well, that's not good. No, that's why they're taking him away, just to check. Can they make the bleeding stop? It will stop. It's just that there might be some damage to his brain. We'll wait and see. We should probably go and wait with him. The news was the worst it could be. Fergus's brain had swelled and bled, and the swelling had knocked out all the best bits of him. Now, only his body remained. Have a seat.
Fergus's scan was very bad. There's been a lot of bleeding into his brain. And now his brain doesn't work. So what will you do? I think, and the other doctors think, that we shouldn't do anything more. He's not in any pain, um, but he's not going to wake up. For how long? Uh, he's never going to wake up. So he'll stay asleep? Yes, but even on the ventilator, he would only live a few days. Without the ventilator, probably only a few hours. It's time to let him go. I think we should take him off the ventilator and let him pass away peacefully. We should call family. Yeah. We won't do anything till everyone's here. Come on. Come on. How do you tell a mother things that you can't bear to think about yourself? How do you tell a mum she must say goodbye to her baby? How do you tell a mother she's outlived her child? Who is it? Frank Goodman. These are for you. I, um, I bumped into Jake. He uh, told me what happened. I know I look bad. Would you like to go for a walk? I'm so sad to hear you had that experience. I really am. I keep thinking I'm gonna see him. I, know, I imagine he's long gone by now. Maybe I should move. Maybe. Maybe you should stick around for a couple of weeks and see how you feel then. I don't think I'll come back to uni till next week. OK. I'll, um... I'll email you some lecture notes. You can read them if you like. Thank you. Look, if you need to talk about what happened, you can talk to me. You'll feel better in a few days. <laughs> better than today. Will I? Yeah, you will. I can promise you that. Hi, Frank. Hey, Jack. I didn't know where you were. Do you want to come home now? No, I just want to walk for a bit. I think you should come home with me now. I don't want to. Come on, got stuff to cook dinner. I don't want to. Can't you hear me? I don't want okay, to. OK, OK, fair enough. I'll see you at home. Getting much work? Yeah, flat out. How's Cal? The face looks a bit better. How well do you know that can go on? I knew him a bit. Did he, you know, did he touch her? What, you think I'd invite a fucking rapist into the house? 
I'm not having a go. You want a beer? Yeah. He seemed like a normal bloke. Thanks, Jake. This looks great. Mm. Mm, thanks. I'll get it. Hello? Yeah, um, she can't come to the phone right now. This is her partner. Okay. Okay, when? So do you have some sort of arrangement with New Zealand or...? Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, see you later. Yeah. That was the police. Ken went to New Zealand yesterday. So what happens now? They're going to contact the address he gave immigration and... If he tries to get back into the country, they'll grab him. Why couldn't I come to the phone? I thought it would be easier if I spoke to them. Why? I don't know. I thought it would upset you. The phone call was for me, not for you. You ever had an AIDS test? I mean, an HIV test? Yeah, had a few. Were you scared? First time I was. But you think you're having a test? I just had one. It's scary, all right. I'd had unsafe sex before my first test. And I remember I had these horrible dreams about my skin falling off my bones. That's how I feel. I'm getting this brochure saying HIV's been going up each year. It was going down, but now I guess everyone's getting slack. It's pretty shocking. Yeah, it's not only the gay community, it's been going up in the straight community too. Which community are you in? <laughs> Shut up. So when do you get your results? Uh, a few days. OK, well, why don't we meet up afterwards, have a spot of tea or something? Yeah, that'd be good. Great. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking I should have left that night. As soon as I realised I was home with him by myself, I should have left. Don't think about it. As soon as I started getting a bad vibe about him, I should have gone out. Don't go over and over it. There's no point. What are you doing? I'm looking at where he pulled out my hair. It's bald. You know what else I think? What? I should have killed him. I just want to say goodbye. I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, we'll see you in there. See ya. Bye. So I just wanted to check you're OK. Yeah, I'm OK. Is Chloe going with you? I don't know. I'm still trying to talk her into it. We'll ring each other up and write letters. It'll be OK. How exciting. 
are you feeling? Oh, you know, not too good. You know, I was thinking about you last night. I was thinking Kelly must be so proud of herself. You got away. You used your brain and got away, and that's fantastic. Yeah, I suppose. Will you ever come back? I don't know. Maybe not. Well, if you don't come back... Can you tell me that thing that Chloe does with her tongue? Okay, I'll tell you. But just warn to secrecy, okay? Okay. Right. How are you, Charles? Pretty good, mate. Couple of beers? Yeah, thanks. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? I oh, know I look awful. Uh, you're still the most beautiful woman in the room. Thank you. Can we talk? Sure. I'll be back in a minute. I'm really sorry about that fight. I was being an idiot. Well, I care about what you think of me. And it seems you thought I was a talentless loser. I'm sorry. You're a fantastic actor and a, a fantastic person. You were my first true love. I was? Yeah. I thought all that stuff didn't count now. I hope it counts. It's the most important relationship I've ever had. I love you, Miranda. Oh, oh sweetheart. How are you? Not so good. You just don't think something like that will happen to you. Do you want a drink, Kel? Chloe's getting me one. I'm just so glad you managed to get away. Come on, let's talk about something else. Please think he's back in New Zealand. And does that make you feel safer? A bit. I'm just mad that he got away, though. work for you, Gabrielle? Well, you know, busy. Jay doesn't want me to talk about it. It's not true. I'm trying to get you to focus on other stuff. I want to focus on this. I think it'll make you feel worse, that's all. I don't care what you think. go out with you anymore. I thought things were going okay. Between us. I want to break up. I'll come up and we'll talk about it. I know it's not right between us. A bad thing happened to you. That does not mean that it is bad between us. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm doing my best. I know I'm stumbling through this, but I am trying so hard to look after you. Because I love you. You can't help me. Change your mind, you can always jump on a plane, okay? I don't want a long distance love affair. What do you mean? If you're gonna live in America, I don't see how we can sustain this relationship. But it might only be for a month or a couple of months. 
They might all fall through. I think we should go our separate ways. But we don't have to break up. I want to live in the same country as the person I'm in the relationship with. Can we go home? Want to say goodbye to everyone first? No. I just want to be with you. Maybe we shouldn't sleep in the same room. I can sleep out here. No. Come to bed with me. Just one last time. I love you. I love you too. Tell you something. What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so scary, Evan. <laughs> Thought he was gonna rape and kill me. <laughs> He grabbed me by the hair. He pulled me. And he pulled the hair out of my head. And it hurt. And then he punched me in the face. He punched me hard. And then I thought I had to get out of there, so grab the scissors and I said I'm gonna fucking kill you and I ran out the door and I thought he was gonna come after me and get me. I feel like an idiot for staying, for not getting out of there as soon as I realised that I was gonna be home alone with him. You told me and told me. I'm not mad at you. No, and that makes it even worse. I'll never forgive myself for what happened. And I need you to know just how sorry I am. Thank you.
We'd all lost our innocence in one way or another. It didn't matter who took it. What mattered was that it was gone. And innocence lost. Is innocence lost forever? I might go to Lismore for a few days. See my family. It's a good idea. I want to tell you a story. It's called 10 Things I Love About Kelly. There are 10 things I love about Kelly. She's cute and she's funny and she has a nice brown belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only rhyme I can think of. <laughs> but seriously, 10 isn't enough to say all the things I love about you, Kelly. When you came here, you arrived with something new and vital. And you trust people. You expect them to behave with the same amount of integrity as you do. And that makes them better people. Or makes me a better person anyway. I like coming out of my room in the morning and seeing your bright and beaming face as you munch on your cereal. <laughs> You laugh at my jokes. You let me love Alex. And you help me clean my room when Jemima fish sourced it. <laughs> You're great to hang around with. You've taught me how to be a decent person. Thank you. I'm going down on her. Am I sure I want to know this? And she said the curtain's taken up. What? Daddy, how many girls are you going out with? How many guys are you going out with? If they gave me a bloody job, I'd work in Australia, wouldn't I? I'm going to be working in a bar for the rest of my life. My computer crashed. Completely? It just went. Well, I couldn't exit it out of anything. OK. There's some stuff I can try. <laughs> Christian, you can't have a drink with us. Oh, uh, nah. Do you realise I'm living in guy heaven? I've got to do something or I'm always going to regret it. Oh, that's the thing about producers. They only ask you out to lunch or dinner. If they're about to sack you, we'll give you some very good news. Go for more of the profits. I think if we're going to renegotiate anything, I'll have to look at... Renegotiate what? But you said you had a deal. No, I didn't. Oh. I want to be a mother. Change will be good at last, streams of 